Oh, intern, there you are. You won't believe the extremely interesting morning that it's been today. Oh, hello, ma'am. Please let me get out of your way. Oh, look at all these people. Look at all these happy people everywhere. Well, we just got some very interesting visitors. It was a lawyer, a lawyer who was telling me how we have been left quite a bit of money to build a certain exhibit here in the zoo. And actually, it comes at the perfect timing. We've been doing some renovating over here. We did some, some experiments, some tests, put some notes out there to see uh, what people like and what people want. And it turns out nobody was really that interested in the seal show. And it was taking up a ton of room, so we removed the show tank and we've been trying to figure out what to do with this spot. Well then, lo and behold, you know who shows up? This lawyer! And he was like, oh by the way, I just wanted to let you know that... Oh, wow, the manta rays are giving birth left and right. <laughs> wow. I just wanted to let you know that you've been left a chunk of money. In a will! Apparently there was this really nice old man who loved to come to our zoo. And oh look, she's carrying a little dolphin, stuffed dolphin, that's so cute. And he loved coming to our zoo, and apparently he's been coming since the very early days of the zoo. Uh, really adored what he saw, and he left us some money because he wants us to rebuild one of his favorite exhibits. Even though we're a marine zoo, so this is kind of an interesting odd thing, but even though we're a marine zoo, he loves peacocks. So he wants us to build a peacock exhibit. Well, wanted. I suppose he's in a better place now, or, or whatnot. And so he left us this money, and I figure, you know what? Why not? We've got the space. People apparently like peacocks, we can put it right here, across the little zone from our lovely eel exhibit. Which, by the way, is exceptionally popular. Oh, that reminds me, I need to- let's see, let's move this. Our very first donation box. Aww. We need to put it somewhere where people can actually use it though, so let's plunk it down right there. There we are. That should help out quite a bit more. But yeah, so we've been left some money to build a peacock exhibit, and I figure, eh, why not? We could add it, put it right here, kind of liven up the area, give people a contrast between the things that swim in the ocean and the things that fly in the sea, or fly in the sea, fly in the sky. It'd be cool if we could have some seabirds, but I am not aware of any that I could adopt just yet. So that's what we're going to work on today, in turn is, oh and this exhibit, I'm so proud of our eels, is putting a peacock exhibit right here and we're gonna make it a fantastic one. And we're also gonna figure out what to do down here. I mean this place is just a mess. I'm still trying to like, ah oh, there we go, fix it up a little bit, tidy things up, make it not quite so painful to even look at. Oh gracious. So maybe we'll do like a little waterfall right here or something just off the side and we can do like this little decorative zone. That might work. Kind of make this a, a little pond. Put some trees and things up here. We can make it work. We're gonna fix this. We're starting to slowly figure out how to fix the pathing path so that it isn't quite as horrible as it has been historically. Still not great. Still not great. I'll be the first one to say that. Uh, but it's not as bad as it has been. I don't know if that actually helped anything. This. Mm. That looks a little bit better, I think. A little, a little more even. But yeah, so we're gonna figure that out. Put in a peacock exhibit because a nice old man has left us his money and requested that we do such. Let's see. Now, what kind of fencing should we use for our lovely peahens? Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, pardon me, intern. Still getting over that cold I have. What about this fence? This is a pretty cool fence. It actually blends in really nice. I think we should use this one. Uh, but I don't know if it's what we want for the peacocks. Is it? Why not? They'll look gorgeous behind it. So I figure we'll just stick those puppies right over here. And let's see, come down here. Come along here. And then right up to the border of come on the tank voila just like that it's a nice little enclosed exhibit good but yeah i think this will look nice i mean look it's plants i can't resist plants you know me in turn there's plants everywhere now just hopefully they won't get any funny ideas and try to escape out of their exhibit. In fact, we might actually 
Maybe we'll make it dip just a little bit away from the edges. Oops, that's not what we wanted. Do this. And then... There, we can even that out. Even this out. Just make a nice little, nice little divot. There we go. Except right here. I don't want to, there we go. Fix that. And we'll figure out how we're going to mess around with this in just a second. I think we might do something like that. There we go. We can make a little waterfall thingy right there. That would be a nice compliment to this, this new exhibit that we're going to have. Yeah, I think it's actually going to look pretty nice. We can put plants and trees all along the back. We can name it after the old man, old man dandy, who has left us his money. Let's see, where's, and maybe we can put in some other birds. That would actually be pretty fun if we could grab a few of the other bird species. Let's see. Hmm. Like this one. The cute little, uh, Takahi. Hmm. Let's see, what do you like? Ooh, and actually, it's an endangered bird. Normally in the grasslands, though. I wonder if it'd be okay. Let's see. New Zealand, Southern Island. Let's introduce to the islands to try to keep them going. It can be found in the alpine grasslands. Ooh. Island populations live in modified grasslands. Oh, so yeah, I could probably do okay over here. Large, flightless birds. Very colorful. Uh, do do. do. Peacock blue heads, wings and backs are green and blue, the bill is red, as is its shield. Hmm. Alright, alright. Yes, yes, yes. I think that these guys... Yes, I think it actually would be pretty fun to add some of these guys in here so we can make it like a whole little bird aviary exhibit of island birds. I'm sure there's island peahens somewhere. Alright, where'd you guys go? Oh, it's actually hard to find them when you're looking for the female variety in the catalog in turn. Because she doesn't stand out, but the male, he stands out. In fact, there he is, see? I knew we'd find him somewhere. Ah, yes, the common peafowl. Normally in temperate forests, I wonder if we can do, like, a temperate forest grasslands merging. Maybe we'll do temperate forest and then put, like, some grass down to make a little grassland. Look at that, it's going to be a nice little shot of green just right inside right inside here. I think that's going to actually play out absolutely beautifully. And there's all sorts of different trees to pick from. Ooh, Ooh look at that! Look at that! Oh, tree! Tree! Tree, I love you! Oh, my weakness. Boom! Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Yep. Yep. This will this will probably work out. We won't do too many big trees like that, though. Don't worry. Not too many. Just a few. Let's see. Maybe I'll think about you. New. No. Let's try again. No. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. No, not quite the right color. We want to find one. It's a little bit brighter on the leaves. Yeah, like you! There we go. A little bit brighter on the leaves. Can kind of add a few more details in here and there. Let's see. There we go. Alright, let's see. This one? Hmm. Hmm. Why is it that I have to think so hard about trees in turn? Alright, we'll put one more tree at the back because we don't want to overcrowd the area. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful, rich foliage. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alright, alright, that's enough of this, this silliness though. Bilberries. Oh, just look at how much we could add for these guys to make it nice and green and fun. Let's see. Twigs. Oh, there's just so much. You're so sick of me, probably, looking at all these, these greenery, though. But you know what? Like I've been saying, that is what we're here to do. We're here to provide as much natural... Oh, look at 
These ferns! How can I resist these ferns? Oh my gosh! We can tuck the ferns like... Oh, that would be perfect! As ground cover up along the sides. Oh, that would be absolutely perfect! Look at that! Just a nice little cover right up here. There we go. Mm hmm And then we're gonna put that right here and right here. See, and it can climb all along the sides on these little slopes. That will definitely make this exhibit look really nice. And it should hold the humidity. Ferns are actually a little bit good at that. Well, more they like to grow in humid areas. Moss would be better for holding the humidity, but we'll see about that. All right, we'll put that there. There we go. Oh man, remind me to, to thank whoever put these in our greenhouses because ferns can be kind of tricky to grow. They actually have two different reproductive cycles. A spore site cycle and then your normal plant sexual reproduction cycle. I remember trying to learn that in ecology class. It was like, ferns, why do you have to have so many ways to reproduce? It was a little tricky to learn all the details, but oh, look at that. So it's going to make a nice little natural natural border. Boom. I love it. Are we at the edge? I can't tell. We're in the way of this tree. Out of my way tree. And then it even peeks up over the fencing. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that. It just looks like this lush little oasis for all the birds. Well, that's going to be fantastic. All right, let's see. We want to see if we can add some of the grass and stuff like that. Lady Fern, you did your job. Quite proud of you. Lily of the Valley is one of my favorites. But these lilies, I think these lilies would be more appropriate for this area. Ah, here we go. Long grass. So I think what we'll do is we'll come over here. Drink. And just kind of like sprinkle a bunch of long grass out for those other birds. I'm pretty sure that our bird lover gentleman who left us this money would be happy to know that it was going towards adding even more birds to our zoo. Island birds! So that's how we can we can get away with having them here. Yeah, look at that. So now we have a little grasslands for those birds. And let's see. Oh, look at this log! It's a beautiful log, but it's pretty big. We don't want to overcrowd the area. Now long grass. Here's some tulips. Here's some tiger lilies. Very pretty. Ooh, tea bush. We could probably put some bushes up along the back. A little bit of bamboo. We're good on that. Oh, oh, cute mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna hide them behind this tree. Right there. There we go. That'll kind of be our thing in turn, is hiding mushrooms everywhere. There's a flower bush. Not many flowers on it though. Pastel tulips. Red flower bush. Red tulips. No, nothing on that one. Stargazer lilies. Wow, those are pretty. Some sunflowers. Sword ferns. So let's see, what to add? What to add? I think we don't need too much. Okay, let's focus on their food and stuff first. So we're gonna switch over to, ah, yes, hollow logs. Hollow logs would probably look far more decorative. Hollow logs berries. Let's see what is the common denominator for what these birds will eat. Hmm. No, not the Arab and partridge. That's more of like a desert animal. Let's see. We're looking more for where'd that lovely little bird go? Not the flamingos. We tried flamingos. They kind of petered out pretty fast, but maybe we'll go back to flamingos when we build our coastal island area. I could see ourselves uh, taking part in that, maybe even the secretary bird. Alright, let's see. Are you over here? That's an ostrich. Penguins. I suppose we do have some flightless birds out. There we go. Now, what do you need? So, a hollow log with berries would be a good thing to add. Look at those cute little guys. Let's see. And then enrichment. What, do we have enough room for that, though? We'll have to figure that out. Shelter. Cute little paradise shelter. I think we can get away with sticking you, like right here in the grass. 
Look at how cute that's looking. That's looking pretty good. I don't know why that just suddenly freaked out, but we'll take care of it. See, we got this in turn. We got this. Or at least I hope we have this. Come on. Come on. Ah, well, we'll deal with that in a second. This, these pads, I swear, in turn. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to do the underwater viewing areas because everything just went nuts after that. Alright, what about rocks? I want some grassland rocks. Well, you know what? We can, we can do that. We'll give you guys a rock. There you go. Little rock. And then the food. We're gonna also do, I think, just a tiny little swonk of water. Like a teensy pond. Right over here. So that they have something to drink. And let's switch back to peacocks for a second. Because I do believe the peacocks like to hang out in their these little houses. So let's see. Yep, here we go. The lookout post. We can give them a good lookout post. So let's put some research into that and then their berries to get the area ready for the birds. Is there anything else? And let's put some research into the, the block of ice. Because that'll, that'll help entertain them. Alright, we'll let that sit. We have to wait for our research to finish up. But we'll check on everybody else. Make sure that uh, everything is going okay. Our penguins are doing good. They usually need scrubbed. I think our big it's time to like scrub our big penguins too. So we'll have to check on those guys in just a second. Why, hi guys. Hey, Skipper. Yeah, you did need a little scrub, huh? How's the food? We're, I'm gonna replenish it just in case. How's the water? Oh, Crystal a second. Gunther. Glad to see you guys there. There we go. Replenish that with fish. Eh. Okay, let's swim out of here. There we go. Oh, look at the setting sun. Jeez, what a busy day at the zoo. Always a busy day. Oh, look at you. You just, you just passed out right where you are. That's so cute. He's sound asleep. Well, we'll leave Skipper B. Alright. What about the Ammonites? It's almost always time to scrub the Ammonites, so... What's that? Beluga 92, how did you get in there? Get back in your little Beluga area, silly thing. Now that we're being able to apply for so many new grants and everything, we might be able to phase out. Alright, do you have the toothbrush? Always need to have our toothbrush for scrubbing the Ammonites. Whoops. Sorry, I'm night four. I didn't mean to swim with you. You go ahead and rest. Elsa's really hungry, huh? Elsa? Are you out of food, darling? Oh, I see what's going on here. There we go. Now they can get in and out of the, their little area. Oh, hey, the hollow log research is already complete. That's good. We will put that right here. Here. Let's turn it, make sure that everybody can reach it. There, that's a perfect spot for it. People can view it, check out what's going on. Oh, the lookout post research is already done. Well, goodness, I suppose that was pretty easy. Oh, look at how this is turning out. Maybe I just needed a, a break for being sick for a little while, because this is a beautiful little exhibit. Hopefully it's not too little, though. All right, next step. Look at that handsome boy. Look at him. Alright, we'll put him in here. And then we'll add a couple females to start our that little population. And then where are... Uh-huh. Then we're going to take these guys, put in a couple females, and then add a male. Looks like they all look the same. There you go, guys! I hope you all like it. Enjoy! I better put in a gate and assign a zookeeper to maintaining this area now that I think of it. So let's go ahead and grab a gate before I forget. You and I are used to jumping over the gates, no problem in turn, but you'd be surprised at how fussy the zookeepers are about it. Just not wanting to jump over gates to their job, honestly. What do you think, guys? Oh, I hear them! Let's go inside! Let's go inside and check it out. And then we'll fix, uh, we'll fix how crazy the roads are in just a little bit. Honestly, I'm gonna deal with all that. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, look at you guys! Hi, welcome to the zoo! Welcome! Welcome to the zoo, little ones. Hello, ladies. Welcome to the zoo. I hope you enjoy your new exhibit. It's got berries. It's got water. It's got shade. It's got a little lookout perch right here. Very nice lookout perch. Oh, look at how nice this looks. I think that they'll enjoy it a lot. I think this was a good investment. It's a nice little shot of green and different stuff. Oh, it does make me excited for the opportunity to work on that future zoo where I get to deal with lots of different kinds of animals. Good, and there's a donation box pretty close. Look at how excited everybody is about our one long fin eel. Oh, I love that. Hopefully they'll be excited about the birds too. Though it's a little dark right now because the sun set, so it's hard to see our birds. But that's okay. All right, real quick before we go in turn, we're gonna try one more little project. Because it is getting pretty late and you do have to get home. I know you've got stuff to study for and all that nonsense. But we're going to try this little project right over here. Yeah. Yes, no. I'm trying to remember if I can do this right. It's been a little while. Yep, been a little while, <laughs> alright. Just spent that spiraling down. Not quite what I wanted. There we go. Alright, there's that. Now we're going to try to make a waterfall. I don't remember if I know how to do this just right though, so forgive me if it turns out kind of funky in turn. Now we're going to come over. Nope, that's not what I wanted. going to come over on this side. No, not yet, not yet. I think we have to do this little trick where we take that out and then nope. Hmm, indeed, I don't remember, intern. I'm gonna have to work on that. My head is still a little fuzzy from the cold I've got, but even though we can't really see it, we've got the peacock exhibit finished. There you go, guys. They're moving around, they're figuring stuff out, and we've got some new birds to add in. So when the sun rises, since it's so late, you need to go home today. Trust me, I mean, we can't even see anything. When the sun rises, we'll come back in here and check out our birds. And I'll work on fixing the path and getting- Why has Lime been put into a crate? Lime, why are you in a crate? Where are you? Just, just stay and behave. Honestly. But I'm gonna check on all the animals, kinda get a few things tidied up, and I will see you back here tomorrow morning, bright and early, intern. Bye bye